You know our hometown girl, Amy Garcia, from George Lopez's show and Lucifer and the newly released film Chicano, yeah. El Chicano. El Chicano. She's back this weekend. Good morning. Good morning. You're from Chicago. How does it feel to be back here? Oh, I love it. I'm such a <laughs> Chicago girl. Whenever they're like, where are you from? I'm like, well, I live in L.A., but I'm from Chicago. Yeah, yes. your heart's in Chicago. <laughs> heart's in Chicago all the way. And you're throwing the first pitch tonight. Uh, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow at the Cubs game. I have not practiced. So I'm what gonna... do you mean you haven't practiced? <laughs> I don't want to pull of Bruce Willis. Um, so I'm going to practice after we finish here. Okay. I'm literally going straight to the park, I promise, and I'm going to throw the pitch with my dad. Wait, but so they let you go early to practice because they want it to go well? No, I'm literally just going to practice in like some oh, park in park. Chicago and I just, you just pull Hill. over. Yeah. But where's this video from? Have you done this before? I have done it before. Oh, so that was pretty good. I, I got way too excited. <laughs> um, yes, I have done it before, and um, I did. Pr I practiced, you know, before. Uh, but you never know. I don't want to yeah. get too no, I get too it. overly I get confident it. and then bounce the ball. And yeah, then I'm yeah, also yeah. singing the seventh inning stretch. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully, I rally the troops and we Can win. Can you sing? Girl, <laughs> no, okay, I never mind. No. I shouldn't have asked that. Okay, so let's talk about, um, you know, we're in the whole age of reboots. Everybody's trying to reboot everything left and right. Do you think the George Lopez show would work as a reboot? I really think it would. I still get stopped from girls all the time. We love you on George Lopez. You're great. We grew up watching it on Nick at Night. And, um, you know, I just did El Chicano with George. He remains a good friend of mine. And uh, people keep asking me for new episodes. Honestly, I don't <laughs> so. feel like, I don't feel like it's soon enough for, I mean, I feel like it's too soon for a reboot. I feel like this was just a couple years ago. How long ago was were you shooting this the George was, Lopez I show? This was, I think it's, I think it's been like 10 years. What? Yeah, I think it's. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, so, you look good. Girl. <laughs> and you're also on Lucifer on yes, Netflix, which is yes. hugely popular. I know, we just beat Game of Thrones, which is oh insane. Oh my god, for the viewers? For the viewers on season four. You know, we were canceled on Fox, and then 8.5 million people around the world tweeted, Save Lucifer. Wow. The fans resurrected us from the dead. And uh, now we're on Netflix season four. We dropped 14 days ago, and we're the most watched. Oh. Most binge TV show. What, what, how, how did you react when it got picked up again? Oh, I was so excited. It's just so nice to know that you're on a show that the world demand it, yeah. right? Like people voted with their Twitter and that's big. And we're our our show is back because of the fans. So yeah. I'm really excited. I play the only Latina scientist on TV. So I represent women in STEM, women in science, women of color in science. Yeah. So I'm um I, I'm proud that she's a really good role model for for young girls. Yeah, and we all, we always talk about representation here on our show. So that's yeah. awesome. Um, so you're back in for just a whole Chicago weekend, throwing the pitch and then also a commencement speech at your high school. What high school? <laughs> What are you going to say? Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what is that? Uh, Wait, you, you don't have a speech yet? Uh, okay, so uh, in all honesty, I didn't sleep last night. Uh, I was really stressed. nervous um, because I'm like, what am I going to tell the young minds? Yeah. And um, You're I was, procrastinator. I'm a little procrastinator. And I actually, I was the first class of girls at Fenwick. So I went to high school with 800 boys and 100 wow. girls, oh eight God. to one ratio. So I, I just feel like I want to represent. It's I'm, you know, I'm the first Latina to give the commencement speech at Let the high school. Let me tell you. Here's your <gasps> advice. Here's your advice. Give them a good story from high school. Yeah. And then give them like four bullet points to success. Three. Let me get yeah. three. Things okay. A good story. Knew. Yeah. Three bullet points to success. Yeah. You'll be out of there. I'm literally gonna tweet you guys after. Yes. It's a 10 yes. to 15 minute speech. I would love speech. to watch it. I will. I will literally I take that into consideration. Speeches. But you know, I just want to speak from the heart and uh, I'll let you ladies know points. how it goes. Okay. <laughs> go away. Go from the heart with some bullet points, girl. Trust, uh, trust me, I've been there. <laughs> well, thanks so, for squeezing us in on your trip Oh, my gosh, of course, of course. <laughs> All right, check out everything that Amy is doing on Instagram. She just hit a million followers, you guys. <laughs> Amy Garcia for real. <laughs>